There are a number of reasons why you may want to block access to a website, such as protecting your child from harmful or inappropriate content, stopping yourself from getting distracted online and blocking websites that are reducing productivity or slowing down your internet speed. In this C Cleaner video, we're going to be showing you how you can block access to websites on Chrome, Firefox and Android. For this guide, we'll be using third-party browser extensions for Chrome and Firefox and a third-party application for Android. Let's start out by seeing how to block a website on the Chrome browser on your computer. To do this, you'll need to add a site blocker extension to your browser from the Chrome Web Store. To install the extension, let's head on to the Chrome Web Store. You can do this by browsing to chrome.google.com slash webstore in your Chrome browser. We'll now search the store for block sites to see what site blocking extensions we can get. As you can see, there are a few different extensions that feature a similar block site name, each with slightly different features and privacy practices. Most are free, but some offer more features with a paid option too. Let's give this one a go as it has over a million users. Click Add to Chrome to download and add the extension to your browser. Once the extension has installed, it will open up a web page which asks you to accept its privacy policy so it can detect and block pages. You may also receive a message to sign up for their subscription or pay for features. You don't need to do this or pay unless you want to and think you need it. Remember, you can always upgrade later. The extension allows you to block six sites for free using the main screen, but you can add more using the block by words tab and adult content is blocked by default under the categories section. To easily access the extension, click the extensions icon on the menu bar and click the pin so it is always visible. This provides easy access to the extension from the menu bar, so you don't need to click through menus to access it. Now it's time to block a website. For this example, we'll be using the YouTube website. Just browse to the website that you wish to block and click the extension icon in your menu bar. You can then click block this website and add the site to your block list. Once you've blocked a website, you'll see a blocked page when you try to browse to it with a button to click back to the previous page that you're on. You can continue to block more websites in this way, or you can add them from the extensions options page. You can also remove blocked websites from the options if you want to unblock sites in the future. If you're a Firefox user, you'll need to install an add-on from the Firefox add-ons website. This can be done by visiting addons.mozilla.org slash Firefox and searching for block site. Like Chrome, there are many different site blocking add-ons available. Let's use the block site add-on by Ray. Now click the add-on and click add to Firefox and confirm this by clicking add on the pop-up. Once the add-on has installed, it'll open up a web page which runs through some frequently asked questions. We can close this page for now and you'll also notice that the add-ons icon has been added to the Firefox menu bar. Now it's time to configure some options in the add-on settings. Right click on the add-on and click manage extension. Now click the three dots next to the extension name and select options. As you can see, there are many settings that can be set here, such as scheduling blocking, which could be useful for blocking games websites or YouTube during homework hours. On this page, the most important thing to set will be a master password so that blocked websites can be temporarily unblocked. This is done at the bottom of the page and once you've entered the password, click save options. Now it's time to block a website. For this example, we'll be using the Facebook website. Just browse to the website you wish to block and click the icon on your menu bar. You'll then be prompted to enter the master password to confirm and then you can add the website that you want to the block list. Once you've blocked a website, the page will update and you can see the title and the URL of the blocked page as well as the master password box at the bottom of the page to temporarily unblock it. You can continue to block more websites in this way or you can add them from the add-ons options page. To block a website on Chrome for Android, the process is slightly different as Chrome for Android doesn't support browser extensions in the same way that the version for your computer does. So you need to install a third-party app to your phone. To do this, we'll be using the Block Site app developed by Block Site. This is a freemium app available on the Google Play Store. Freemium means that the app will let you block a handful of sites for free before you need to pay for additional features. To get started, install the Block Site app by searching for it on the Google Play Store and then open it once it has finished installing. To use the Block Site app, you'll need to accept their terms of use and privacy policy and then enable the Block Site service in your phone's accessibility settings. This lets Block Site work as intended. You'll then need to give Block Site users access so it can monitor the usage of blocked sites. As BlockSite is a freemium app, you may receive pop-ups to sign up for their subscription or pay for app features. You don't need to do this or pay unless you want to and you think you need it. Remember, you can always upgrade later. Close this screen by tapping the X in the top right and you'll be able to block websites. You can also skip the Coach Bob screen if asked. 
Now that the block site app setup is complete, we can see the block list that allows you to block websites and also apps on the device. So let's add a new site to block. Tap the plus symbol in the bottom right of the app and you may see an ad that you need to skip. For this example, we're going to block the TikTok website. Type in the website address that you want to block into the search box or select a predefined website from the list. Now scroll down and select the URL from the search result and tap the plus to add it to your block list. Tap done in the top right to complete the process. Now let's test the site block by opening Chrome and trying to browse to the website that we just added to the block list. As you can see, the website is on our blocked list and we cannot access it. And instead we see a page telling us that the website is blocked. We hope that you found this video helpful and provided some useful information to help you block websites on your devices. Subscribe to make sure that you don't miss any more knowledge videos from CCleaner.